The Netherlands is a country that lies below the average sea level, which implies that most of its land is prone to flooding. The Netherlands has built sea defenses to prevent water from entering its shores. Using various methods, they could reclaim more than 25% of their country's land from the lakes and sea. Some of these include the construction of dikes, drainage canals, and pumping stations. The Dutch have witnessed many floods that have devastated the people and economy. The history dates back to as early as the 9th century. The North Sea floods in 1953, last on the list, is the reason behind the faster construction of the seawall under Zuiderzee Works. The project, called Afswistik, spanned 20 miles and reached a height of over 23 feet. Its construction uses clay and sand, which were held together by grass. In this video, we talk about the effectiveness of the seawall and other measures that the Dutch government used to protect their communities from flooding. The Netherlands is in northwest Europe and partially submerged in the North Sea. Half of it is flat, while the rest is below sea level. This country has a variety of terrains, including farmland, sandy beaches and coastal lowlands. It also has an immense network of numerous canals and rivers. The Netherlands, with the North Sea to the west, Belgium to the south and Germany to the east, if the country loses its protection from the sea and the rising waters of the rivers, the densely populated region would be severely affected. Almost a third of the country's land area is below sea level. The lowest level is found in Nieuwekerk aan de Yssel, which is 6.76 meters below the sea. On the other hand, the highest point is in the tri-border between the Netherlands, Germany and Belgium. The rest of the country is flat. The southern part of the country witnesses a significant portion of land rising higher as the foothills of the mountains. It is the area where Valseberg is, the highest point in the country, at 322.7 meters above sea level. The Netherlands has a long history of land reclamation. Many current projects have been carried out in the Zuiderzee works. It is part of the country's effort to address its water problems. According to studies, about 65% of the country would have been underwater at high tide without the country's use of pumps, dikes and dunes. The country saw many devastating floods, of which the 1916 flood was devastating, which took almost 25,000 lives. All Saints Flood and St. Louis Flood all claimed lives in multiple thousands. As said earlier, the country started its efforts against flood and water-related issues as early as the 9th century. This continuous effort is the sole reason behind the extensive artificial island network in the nation. The Netherlands comprises over 3,000 artificial lands or polders. Let us discuss some prominent artificial lands and dams in the nation. A large portion of the Netherlands is prone to experiencing storm surges and floods due to its low sea level, which has always been a significant issue. In response to the devastating flood that occurred in 1916, the government constructed an artificial dam between the North Sea and the Zuiderzee. The dam, known as the Enclosure Dam, was completed in 1932. The Afsriedzeek is a significant causeway and dam in the Netherlands, spanning 32 kilometers along North Holland's Den Oever province. The construction dates from 1927 to 1932. The causeway, which measures 90 meters wide, reaches the village of Zurich in Friesland's province. The Afslutstieg is a significant component of the Swedersee works, which is responsible for turning the Swedersee into a freshwater lake, Iselmeer. It is also a major land-winning project that will improve the road connectivity between the west and north of the Netherlands. The Zuiderzee was formerly salt water, but the construction of an enclosed dam converted it into a freshwater lake that receives water from many river networks, making it the largest freshwater lake in the country. The Veringmeer polder is a part of the Zuiderzee works developed during the 20th century. First established in 1927, the original plan was to create this polder after the construction of the Asluistik. Due to the lack of agricultural land, the dikes for the project got constructed later. The walls of the dikes required reinforcement to withstand the force of the sea. 
The last phase of the project, draining the polder, was completed in 1930. After completion of the Afshuidik in 1932, the Lake Ishelmeyer formed. The municipality of the northeast polder in the Flevoland province of the Netherlands is known as the Nordostpolder. It used to be called Urka Lake. The administrative center of the municipality located in Emmeloord. Other population centers in this region include Bant, Kiel, Enns, Kragenburg, Markenesse, and Romten. The former island of Schochland, known as Urk, is now a museum. The town of Urk, which used to be on the same island, is now a separate municipality. The Flevopolder is a polder that forms the bulk of the Netherlands' Flevoland province. Like other significant polders such as Verengemeer and Norospolder, lakes and below sea level channels surround the Flevoland polder. The Flevoland polder is the largest artificial island in the world. Though a nation of artificial lands, the Netherlands' contribution to the world economy is not small. The country has eminent health, education, and economic policies that help it advance faster. Let us look at its current population. According to the latest data released by the UN, the Netherlands population is over 1.72 million. The country is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. Its population density is about 508 people per square kilometer. Another preliminary sector is health. The increase in life expectancy in the Netherlands is due to the country's increasing number of elderly residents and the relaxation of its healthcare system. On the other hand, healthy life expectancy for women in the country is 57.8 years, below the European average of 64.2 years. Among men, it is 62.8 years. The Netherlands is known for its highly educated population. According to the World Economic Forum, it is one of the most educated countries in the world. Children in the Netherlands get eight years of primary education, four years of secondary education, and five years of higher education. After graduating from secondary school, they can pursue higher education or vocational training. The Netherlands is a significant contributor to the European Union's gas reserves. It is also a major supplier of various chemicals and petroleum products. The industrial activities mainly concentrate on the food processing and agricultural sector. The Dutch government and the people are never ready to back down from their continuous efforts to resist the floods and surrounding sea. The extensive seawall created is the country's most significant advancement toward flood control measures. It is the most robust defense the nation has built against the natural threats from the surrounding seas and climate. The construction benefits both humans and the flora and aquatic life in the region, mainly due to the formation of the freshwater lake Ischelmeer. The country displays to the world result of continuous efforts that help improve the quality of living. With the minimum resources and most of it below sea level, the Netherlands has never backed down and actively contributes to world GDP.